Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, August 12th through the 18th, 2019. Watch this reading if you're a Scorpio sun sign, a Scorpio moon sign, a Scorpio rising, a Scorpio on the cusp, or you have your sun in the 8th house. You're using the Game of Thrones tarot deck today and the Butterfly Oracle for your weekly general reading. Stay tuned uh, for the weekly love reading, which is the second part of this video. All right, so there's two, sort of two readings combined uh, for the week ahead. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Give me six cards for Scorpio. Show me how do they see themselves today. What is the theme for them over the next week? What is something that Scorpio has already learned that will be useful for them to remember over the week ahead? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. For all my Scorpios out there who may be watching, Scorpio Sun Moon Rising, Scorpio on the cusp, and those with their Sun in the eighth house. Six cards. Scorpio. Three more shuffles here. That was one. bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. Now, uh, the card at the bottom of the deck talks about the underlying theme or challenge of your reading, the whole reading, okay? So just to give you some context there. I'm seeing someone here who um, could be uh, an unethical teacher. Um, it may be that they have a different way of viewing the world. Um, you know, I always ask, or I always say about the Hierophant, you know, who or what has been your teacher? Um, this can be someone who is outwardly rebelling against a tradition, the, the way things are done is not working for this person. This can be your energy. I'm seeing someone here who does not want to do the right thing, or they're, um, they could be a bit of a, contra, a, con, a controversial type of personality. Um, this can also be someone that gives bad advice or someone that is, how should I say it, a bit of a rebel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on with that. Um, all right. Let's keep going. Yeah, I, I had a, a couple of thoughts there, but I'm going to keep going. Oh, we have your card here. How you see yourself today. We have death in reverse, Scorpio. This is your card. It is coming up reversed. So... A couple messages. There's something that you, uh, there's a change you're going through, which could potentially take up to six months to manifest. Um, I'm seeing a Scorpio here who is not confronting something head on. All right, and that's that's typically not a Scorpionic energy. I mean, you guys love you guys love change and transformation. I'm seeing someone here that is. Um, Burning bridges running away from a specific, uh, could be a specific issue or they're in the midst of transforming. I'm actually, I'm going to say you're in the middle of transforming some area of your life. Now this is a, this is a major arcana, so this would be a major area of your life. It could be you're changing careers, you're changing, um, like you're changing jobs, you're, you're, you're moving to a whole new location, you're... Um, it's like you're shedding your skin, essentially. So, yeah, you're in the midst of this transformation, like I said. Um, some of you also may be going through a situation where you're, you're avoiding this change, but it is going to happen. It's happening. The theme for you over the next week, oh, we have a ton of coins in reverse. Okay, so um, there could be here uh, some issues with the family. Someone is getting exiled from the family. This could be a loss in terms of financial security. Um, others of you 
our, um, a long-term relationship is ending here or going through trouble. Um, the Ten of Coins represents our financial and emotional security. So um, your, your security and something here is, is going away or is being tested. Um, I, would, I would consider this to be a loss of some kind. It could be financial, in which case it is a huge investment here that's being lost. Um, it could be also someone who is ending a long-term relationship or someone who is being exiled from the family. Um, this could also be, like I said, issues within the family. What is something that uh, Scorpio has already learned that will be useful for them to remember this week? We have the King of Spears, Fire Sign Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a mature fire sign, someone who resonates at a very high level. So their energy, I would say, is very high vibration. Um, the King of Spears is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm seeing a masculine energy here, but it could be a female who resonates with this energy. Who is the King of Spears? He's, um, he's definitely a leader. Um, he's someone that uh, is very passionate, very inspired, very creative. Um, he is not afraid to speak out. He's very loyal um, to his family. He's very loyal to his friends, his loved ones. But he's very action oriented. He likes to take action. All right. So even if he's sitting here, he's contemplating his plan. He's about to take action on something. So this is something, this could be of someone that you've already dealt with in the past that would be useful for you to remember this week. Or useful for you to call, I would say useful for you to call on their energy. Um, of course, this could be someone that you are going to be dealing with again, that you've already dealt with them in the past. Um, but I'm seeing a leader here, the King of Spears is my Steve Jobs. He's, he's an entrepreneur, he's, a, he's the father of a family, he's someone who's very passionate, very creative, um, very outspoken. Um, definitely, truly a leader uh, here, very action, very action oriented. So it, it may be that you need to take action on something this week or you need to step up to the plate and be a leader or um, take on this fire sign energy um, if, you are, if you are not dealing with a fire sign. So the challenge you may be facing, we have a seven of cups in reverse. Okay. Someone here is seeing the practical reality of something or approaching something from a very pragmatic point of view. It's like, um, and by the way, this is this is one of your deacons. This is like the second or third deacon of Scorpio. Um, so it's also that represents Neptune and Pisces. Neptune currently retrograding in Pisces right now. Uh, what am I getting with this? There's a challenge around, like, it could be that you had several options presented to you or you were contemplating some sort of fantasy here, or at one point you had all these different options, but it may become abundantly clear now that there's only one good option, or there's only a few. So seven of cups in reverse here in the challenge position, I would read it upright. Someone here may be lost in a fantasy land. Someone here could be um, failing to see the real possibilities, um, the creative potential, or is only seeing things from a very practical perspective. They're not really able to brainstorm, dream, um, think of bright possibilities. Okay, so something here I feel is is, is getting getting pretty real is what I would say is how I would say it. something is getting very clear for you um, your daily life the things that you do on a day-to-day -day level um, those things also becoming very clear where things may have been a bit blurred a bit fantastical where you might have you know been daydreaming I'm feeling now it's becoming a little bit more harsh around the edges so you're starting to get you know, clear outlines of what is going on here. So the lesson you're learning now is the Six of Spears. And the, the Six of Spears is really about getting external validation. It's about also being honorable, getting praise. Um, you know, it's, it's the victory card essentially here. So it talks about being honorable, 
um, being a good leader, um, you know, the thing, the thing is with this card is that the, uh, the person riding the horse is seen as innocent. They're seen as being, uh, having done something good, having earned the respect of others. So it could be that the lesson you're learning, um, this week has to do with, um, you know, what it is that you do in order to get uh, this victory, this feeling of accomplishment, this feeling of being rewarded for your efforts, of being noticed and validated and um, seen, really. Um, can you feel good about the things that you've done? Um, what uh, inspires you to be uh, loyal and honorable and to be a leader? Okay, so this is also about positive recognition. Okay, it's like the pat on the back. It's a job well done. So you're learning what may or may not, I guess, inspire this kind of reward. Because um, what I'm seeing here is that um, I'm just getting that something is becoming very clear to you at this moment. And it may have to do with a family situation. It could have to do with a your long-term security, um, a long-term relationship, whatever. Uh, but it's also about like what you constitute as victory for you. What makes you feel successful? Um, you may be changing how you, because I'm getting how you measure success. That may be changing for you, what your stand standards are in terms of being validated. Um, does it mean that um, going out to the public and being publicly, you know, cheered on? Does it mean that, you know, in some small thing that you did, that you accomplished, that meant a lot to you? So it's really about how you get praise and validation. So your outcome is judgment, okay, or I'll say outcome, the gift you will receive. Well, it's just as well an outcome. Well, you're being given the gift of being able to make a final decision here, a judgment call. So, and, and it could be that someone else is making a decision here on your behalf or um, is making a decision about you. However, with judgment here, there's it's final. We don't go back to the past, and the reason is because we've reviewed the past, we've accepted our role, and we've taken responsibility for the role that we play in the actions that we've taken that have led us up to this current point. So, final decision, no going back. Um, uh, there's going to be here some kind of, yeah, I'm just getting, it's, it's like your stamp of approval, uh, you're going to be... Um, Giving something the, the green light this week is what I feel like. Um, <clears throat> Let me see if I can get any more information. This is puzzling with the Hierophant in reverse. Some of you dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone here who's been thinking a lot about what makes them happy and it may indicate that someone has to put down a burden. Um, I would also caution you, who are you listening to in terms of a mentor? Because I'm seeing someone here who um, is very unorthodox, um, the, their teachings are very unorthodox, they may see things from a different perspective than you. They may actually, um, like I said, um, this can be someone who's not a good friend or someone who has questionable methods. Like their, the method, their, their teaching methods may be a bit difficult um, and hard to digest for their students. So you have to watch out for that as well. So an interesting reading. I'm also I was also getting a message. You know, I should probably have said this before, but um, I feel that there's a Scorpio out there, some Scorpios out there that are procrastinating on something. All right, that might be this decision here. But um, the message I'm getting is that you you know you may be trying to do everything but this particular thing. Um, however, I feel like now it, it's becoming very clear to you that you have to do it now. 
Okay, so let's see what your guidance is. Scorpio, August 12th through the 18th. What is your guidance for Scorpio? Two. Well, Libra had courage, but you're also getting it. We have courage and leaving. So does someone here may need the courage to leave a situation behind. Um, I do see the hero fall reversed as perhaps leaving a religion, uh, finding your own religion, finding your own spirituality. This could be uh, a divorce, um, the end of a marriage or a commitment. You know, it's it's basically someone also that could have taken vows, but they don't really believe in their vows anymore. Now they need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to, you know, um, a commitment here. And this can also be someone who's agreeing to just be friends. Um, they don't want something serious. All right, so that does give me some clarity. Let's go ahead and read uh, the two messages I have here. Courage. Scorpio, this card reminds you that you do have the courage to make this change. And here we have your card, but it is in reverse. Procrastinating on making a change in your life. Everything you've been through in life has taught you how to cope and be strong in the face of the unknown. You've learned that being positive and having faith are necessary tools to overcome fear or disappointments. Take this change one minute at a time and try not to look too far down the road, especially if attempting to predict the future brings up anxiety for you. After all, you can plan for the future, but you can only take charge of this present moment. So... Take positive action steps today um, toward your desired outcome and know that you will have everything you need in each moment that follows. Additional meanings, facing your fears, stepping into a leadership position, breaking out of your comfort zone, being assertive. All right, we also have leaving. Okay, so some of you might be leaving a job, deciding to leave a job deciding to leave a relationship. Um, I'm seeing whatever this is, um, you've got to be the leader here. You, are, you see things as they really are, not how you would like them to be. I feel like you're making a decision this week to do something which requires you to leave something behind that's not working for you anymore. It's become too burdensome. Scorpio. This card confirms what you already know, right? It's time to leave a toxic situation. You've done your best to heal the conditions, but sometimes the circumstances become intolerable, and the healthiest choice is to move on. This naturally brings up feelings of confusion and, and insecurity. However, rest assured that whatever you're on, whatever, sorry, rest assured that whenever you're on the right path, which you are, Everything works out for the best. Your departure doesn't need to be sudden or drastic. Like a butterfly building a cocoon, you can plan and prepare for this transition right now. You can even make your exit gradual so that you feel comfortable and secure during this healthy change. Additional meanings, letting go of fear, releasing an addiction, travel, or a family member leaving home. Mm -hmm. So it could be you or someone uh, uh, that is living with you here, um, who has been with you for a long time, you know, like a long-standing relationship. All right, guys, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for your love reading coming up next. Hello, Scorpio. It's time for your love reading. This reading is for the week of August 12th through the 18th, 2019. Watch this if you are a Scorpio sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, a Scorpio on the cusp, or you have your sun in the 8th house. We are going to uh, pull a couple cards here from the Lover's Path Tarot deck, and then also I've got uh, two other things for you at the end. I'll be pulling some some love messages from the Romance Angels and the Sex Fortunes, Sex Position Tarot Cards for Lovers. All right, so let's get started. Scorpio, let me get my notes here. And these are just my, this is just my outline for the, the reading. So show me what is Scorpio's focus for the week in terms of love. 
August 12th through the 18th. What is Scorpio's focus for the week ahead in terms of love? August 12th through the 18th. Scorpio. What is their focus in terms of love? This one right here. Prince of Cups could be on sending a loving message. Could be on a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. The Prince of Cups here, I'm getting the masculine energy. So uh, it's a, a more flirtatious message. It could be um, a, a message of love, a love letter, a sweet, sweetness, just being sweet, being gentle. Um, the Prince of Cups here, like the Page of Cups, indicates puppy love. So not very serious, more immature. Okay, what are the challenges that Scorpio may be facing during the week ahead? What are the challenges Scorpio may be facing during the week ahead in terms of love? Challenges in terms of love, Scorpio. What challenges will Scorpio be facing in terms of love? Six of coins. Okay, so giving and receiving could be here that there's a transactional nature in terms of a relationship. Um, someone here may be withholding affection, um, taking more uh, from you than they should. Um, there could be an, it could be an imbalanced relationship where one person is giving more than the other, and the other person is taking a lot. Um, you may be dealing with an Earth sign as well, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing Pisces, Pisces coming up, Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio. Okay. What are some possible goals um, Scorpio may be setting for the week ahead in terms of love? What are Scorpio's goals in terms of love? August 12th through the 18th. What goals should Scorpio be setting in terms of love? August 12th through the 18th. What goals should Scorpio be setting in terms of love? Ace of Cups. Uh, open your heart. Give unconditional love. No strings attached. Um, let your emotions come to the surface. Understand what it is to give unconditional love to someone. Be loving. All right. And also, it, it may be a good week for you to uh, rebalance and clear your heart chakra. Okay. So I am seeing a lot of emotions coming up for you around the full moon, which will be on the 15th of August. Full moon in Aquarius. Okay. All right. So open your heart up. All right. If you've been withholding affection from someone or if you've been feeling resistant to, you know, giving up more of yourself, now's the time to really let it out. Let, it be, let the emotions come to the surface. What is your advice for Scorpio this week in terms of love? What is your advice for Scorpio this week in terms of love? What is your advice for Scorpio in terms of love? Eight of Cups. Okay, I'm seeing someone here who's not being responsive um, to you emotionally. Okay, uh, you may love this person very much. However, um, you don't need to stay where you're feeling disappointed, okay? Because the Eight of Cups is about needing to walk away from something that's been continuously disappointing for you, something of an emotional nature. And here I'm seeing a woman trying to console a man who really just is, doesn't want to have anything to do with her. So the, the message that I'm getting here is um, you can love someone unconditionally, but it may not be uh, a balanced relationship. You know, you may try to message this person, be sweet to this person, um, but they've just continuously disappoint, disappoint you. So um, definitely take some space for yourself. Um, traveling may be a good idea at this time. Um, doing some soul searching, but you don't need to stay where you're not feeling wanted or or, or the love is not being reciprocated. Um, 
Yeah, I'm seeing several moons here, so I'm seeing uh, a waxing, give you us, uh, the waxing moon, you'll probably send a love message. And then between the waxing and the full moon, I feel that there's going to be an absurgence of emotions. Um, and then I feel on the waning moon, you will be uh, walking away from someone here uh, due to some disappointment. Okay. Romance Angel Spirit, what is your guidance for Scorpio? For yourself, Scorpio, it's time to take back control of your life. Don't stay trapped. All right, you're a unicorn, but you've got a, someone's got a collar and a leash on you. It's like you're in bondage. Get out of the, uh, get out of the pig pen here. Time to leave. What else? Recapture, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, continue to be your playful self. Continue to, um, if you want to recapture romance with someone, the alternative is to be more playful. However, I see you already doing that. So, yeah, interesting. Clarify playfulness for me. Let's see if we can get another message going here. Scorpio, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of you do have children that are involved. Um, it could also be that there's childish behavior going on. All right, so the the message here is um, get in touch with your your inner youthful spirit. All right, so someone could be too serious here, might be taking things too seriously. In addition, there could be children here that are indeed affecting your love life. Not for all of you, but for some of you, because there's these are three distinct messages here that I'm getting. <clears throat> so I could be reading for like three different three different groups of you or even three different Scorpios who are watching, so keep that in mind. What are your sex fortunes? What are the sex fortunes? Scorpio, August 12th through the 18th. What message do you want to share with Scorpio, August 12th through the 18th? Page of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A message here. Uh, getting a message, uh, maybe not the nicest message, but definitely some news coming in. Nine of Pentacles, someone wants uh, to be independent. Someone's very independent, very free. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm also seeing Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, communicate that um, you, you enjoy your independence and freedom. Or you don't need nobody. You don't need nobody. Nine of, nine of um, Pentacles is a is someone who's financially and emotionally independent. So that kind of goes with um, for yourself here. Um, all right, all right, Scorpio. Thank you guys for tuning in for this weekly love reading. Remember, it's just a weekly love reading. This does not go beyond that time frame. So, you know. Take it with a grain of salt. You may or may not resonate with it. It's a general reading, so don't freak out. Um, these are just my. This is just my prediction for your sign. So um, go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising sign. That'll also help. Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.